Road to Stonewall, and uh, we celebrate the gay icons that helped the gay rights march and movement. How appropriate when, when uh, Power talks about Martin Luther King celebration on Monday and his struggle in black civil rights. Stonewall is our celebration in the gay community for gay civil rights. This week, we celebrate uh, a gay icon that everyone knows, and that is Harvey Milk. Uh, amazing uh, movie on his life and uh, his short public uh, persona as a politician. And uh, Harvey Milk's is definitely one of the gay icons that helped us on our march and road to Stonewall. And we thought what we would do tonight is to tell you some of the things that are iconic in terms of what Harvey Milk did and what Harvey Milk said. And so we're going to do that now. And uh, Power, let's begin with you. So uh, something I learned uh, in researching Harvey Milk um, was that I didn't realize that Harvey Milk was the one that organized the legendary Castro Street Fair, uh, which takes place every single year in San Francisco. Um, he organized this in 1974, which attracted 5,000 people in its first uh, year. And by 1977, I believe it was, 70,000 people had shown up. So, um, and 45 years later, it is one of the most iconic uh, uh, events in our LGBT uh, community, benefiting local charities in San Francisco. Nice. Uh, and a quote from Harvey Milk. Harvey Milk um, said, the fact is that more people have been slaughtered in the name of religion than for any other single reason. That, that, my friends, that, is true perversion. Erin. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Um, well, despite not being very pro-gay in his early career, his final speech uh, urged all gay people to come out and to live as their authentic selves. And Harvey Milk said, I know you cannot live on hope alone, but without hope, life is not worth living. So you, and you, and I guess you, <laughs> you gotta give him hope. You gotta give him hope. Awesome. Napoleon. Uh, Harvey Milk is known for what he did in the gay community, but he also did a lot of work outside of the gay community. Uh, and in San Francisco, he created a civilian board to oversee police, free public transit, and child care. So one of the quotes from Harvey Milk, he said, every gay person must come out. As difficult as it is, you must tell your immediate family. You must tell your relatives. You must tell your friends, if indeed they are your real friends. You must tell the people you work with. You must tell the people in the stores you shop in. Once they realize that we are all indeed their children, that we are indeed everywhere, every myth, every lie, every innuendo will be destroyed once and for all. And once you do, you will feel so much better. So and Joe. Um, uh, in my research of Harvey Milk, the thing that stood out to me is he was instrumental in defeating Proposition 6 in 1978, which banned uh, uh, teachers, gay teachers, from teaching children in schools. In 1978, uh, he, that uh, Proposition 6 and his fight of Proposition 6 also started really the LGBT political activism. And I'll also note that in 1978 is actually, for Proposition 6, six is when the Log Cabin Republicans was actually founded and were instrumental also in defeating Proposition 6. Um, my quote for Harvey uh, said, uh, Harvey Milk, politics is theater. It doesn't matter if you win, you make a statement, <coughs> you say, I'm here, <coughs> pay attention. Mm. Wow. And that's really what activism and LGBT activism has been. Pay attention, I'm here. In our celebration of the road to <coughs> Stonewall and our gay icon that we celebrate this week, Harvey Milk, he was the first openly gay politician in California history. He is killed for being gay just 11 months after his election. I graduated high school in 1978, that same year, and had no knowledge of him at all. Today, the entire world 
nose of Harvey Milk. Harvey Milk said, how prophetic, you got to give them hope. If a bullet should enter my brain, let that bullet destroy every closet door. Our road to Stonewall is paved with many gay icons, and we invite you to celebrate on June 30th, 2019. If you can get to New York, you should. Uh, your local communities will be celebrating, but it is really iconic. And uh, I, I think it especially um, important this week because of Martin Luther King on, on Monday. I, I really wish uh, Dr. King could be alive today to comment on the gay community struggle because I quite imagine in the life of today from a Dr. King, it, it would, he would probably be one of our gay icons mm -hmm. also. Mm -hmm.